Good day to you. God bless you. I want to read to you from Malachi chapter 3. Reason is that uh, we are at a very intense time. It's a time evil is called good, good is called evil. It's a time viruses are made and vaccines are made. It's a time immunity and uh, immunity systems are being destroyed quite intentionally. Uh, so when when now uh, when when uh, scientific measures are being prescribed uh, we are wondering uh, what is true what is not and the media when they say something there's quite a possibility it is not the truth and when uh, the legislature makes decisions shut down or not shut down we don't know whether it's good for us or not so it's a time of uh, truth being spilled on the road and falsehood being asserted as truth once upon a time when people did evil, they, they said we are doing evil. But they, they knew and they agreed the right is not what we are doing. Now evil is done and evil is normalized. For instance, all sub, na, sovereign na, nations are pressed upon by international law to accept abortion as law. Sri Lanka does not. Uh, then uh, homosexual relationships and marriage has to be accepted as law. If not, you become internationally isolated and there will be trade uh, consequences and so on. And then uh, uh, transgender operations, the transgender uh, 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 options for children must be given. So the uh, list is endless how the, the good that is violated is normalized and the, and the evil is defined as those who oppose this agenda of the global drive. And, uh, asexuality, or you just define your sexuality, you just define everything from the point of view of man who's denying God. Uh, so all good systems that God has given for good is being violated, are being violated, and uh, one who resists or speaks against it would be fact-checked and, uh, and disqualified, censored out. We are living in a time like that. So we go to Malachi 3 to get a spiritual understanding. Once upon a time, men knew evil and chose evil, submitting what they did was evil and right was right. Now evil is called good. Resisting that evil is called evil. That's the time we have come to. And we pitched the scenario yesterday from, uh, from the Mera scene. Darkness of these days are without parallel, like the bitter, dark, deathly waters of Mera. Nine-year-old fights parents to have her own way with the screen. The battle begins very early in life. The contest, the protest, wanting my own way. Twelve-year-old goes through transgender confusion and can ask for puberty, suppression drugs, contrary to parental uh, advice. Law provides for them to have transgender operation. Marriage is as you define, XXY, XXXX, or uh, throuples, or whatever. Sexuality is all types. So there's tolerance for everything other than for believing in God. Uh, so this is the time we are in, and this is how God sees the time. Malachi chapter 3. You have said it is vain to serve God, and what profit is it that we have kept him, uh, kept his charge? Uh, so now we call the arrogant blessed. Not only are the doers of wickedness built up, but they also test God and escape. It is a time like that. Only that they will not escape. So it's a, the, I read Malachi 3.15, the diagnosis at the end of the uh, old covenant, but the, in, the, in, in Malachi is not only a song song of Israel's downfall, it also identifies what brings the end of the world because we are ending up with the day of furnace. That's where Malachi 4 leads us. So Malachi 1 diagnoses the problem. Malachi 1, 6, the son honors his father and servant his master. So honor for fatherhood is gone. Bilaterally so, parents uh, vacate, absent, and then children grow as they please. Then servant and master relationships are violated. So God is asking, if I am a father, where is my honor? If I am a master, where is my respect? That's the time we are in. Then it, Malachi also uh, uh, diagnoses how the priesthood is corrupt, how God's 
uh, sacrifices have become uh, defiled. So it is filtered down to the church, church agreeing with all what the world is doing. So increasingly church is agrees, agreeing that world is right and world makes the theology that we should conform to. So abortions, transgender, homosexuality uh, or, 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 and, and pull down uh, colonialism and you know pull down the fathers because they did this that and the other so reframing remaking history the church also gets gets aligned compromised into the agenda of ascent the man who says this is wrong is the evil man that's how it goes right now so we have arrived at that time so Malachi 316 God yet says then those who fear the Lord spoke to one another. So we are doing that in this discourse, this discussion. We are discussing how the world has gone. And the Lord gave attention and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written. This is very important. Do an altar, write a book of remembrance. Assert with your children at every family prayer time, every meal time. Please assert with your children, this is right and that other thing is wrong. Uh, so that they have a clear voice of command, a command of clarity about sexuality, about how they grow their life, about compromise, about what marriage is, no premarital sex, no extramarital sex, uh, uh, how you love God and how you get uh, trained for work. Yeah, if you don't work, you don't eat. We have to again reinforce these things, yes. Before him, those who fear the Lord and esteem his name. So we fear the Lord and esteem his name. They will be mine, says the Lord of hosts, on the day that I prepare my own possession. And I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. Now here comes the punchline. So you will again distinguish between the righteous and the wicked. So a separation is coming. God said in Acts 17, he sends the rain, the harvest, livelihood, uh, fatherhood, family for the wicked and the righteous. But now he says he's going to make a separation, a distinction between righteous and the wicked, between one who serves God and one who does not serve him. This distinction has come, that God will uh, make, make it known that a different day has dawned, certainly maybe with COVID. COVID might have been just the trigger that sets the two agendas so clear cut. Man trying to be God and God who always said, I am God. This man trying to be God control everything. And when immunity is destroyed by made viruses, made vaccines, how much more wicked can man get? Man's defense against all illness, the immune system is so systematically destroyed. That's what COVID is about. Yeah, I can send you some more clips on this, the technical stuff. I'm Dr. Lyle Mendes. Uh, if you would send a WhatsApp to plus 94 77 49 59 uh, 214. I can send you more scientific details. But today is a spiritual discourse. Uh, so this is how it goes. If man's immunity, human's immunity is gone, you are susceptible, vulnerable to cancers. HIV, of course, any other infection. That's where it is going. They will be mine. And so, uh, so chapter 4, Malachi, Malachi chapter 4, so the last book of the New Old Testament also is a prophecy. It almost goes over the entire New Testament and brings us to the end of time. That's a strategic positioning of the book of Malachi. Book of Malachi not only introduces to us the messenger who is coming, the forerunner who is coming, the Messiah who is coming. Chapter 3 begins like that. But also, let, let me read chapter 3 of Malachi. Behold, I am going to send my messenger. He will clear the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. And the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight, before, behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. So that is also said, the Messiah's time is coming. But Malachi 4 takes you straight to the time after that. So Malachi 4, behold, the day is coming, burning like a furnace, and all the arrogant and every evil doer will be chaff. And the day that is coming will set them ablaze, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor, nor branch. So we, we remember Matthew 13, the parable of wheat and tares. This was a time, there was a time when wheat was grown. Now it seems that all world systems, the media, the legislature, the judiciary, the science, all are facilitating 
the growth of tares, which, which is called chaff in, in Malachi. And we know that God will send his angels to begin his end of harvest program. Church's curriculum, of course, is to grow the seed, grow the sons of the light, birth the sons of the light, care for them, disciple them, and God will attend on the program which God alone can, dealing with the chaff, dealing with the task. He has a program. So let not the righteous get discouraged. Hold on. Today's vision, I saw the Lord uh, had, uh, there was a row of little boats on the seashore covered with a white cloth as if in an operating theater, so to say. But the operation was that the, every boat is being fitted with new navigational equipment for the time ahead. So every Christian will be fitted so. Uh, but as you, but for you who hear my name, Malachi 4.2, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in the wings and you will go forth and skip about like calves from the stalls. So everywhere that God's people are, there would be wings like the son of righteousness, righteousness, light and healing. And God will make a distinction how he will look after their livelihoods, how he will look after their health. So it has to be a supernatural healing and health till he finally comes. So the distinction is going to be stuck between the chaff that is burning and God's people kept in a in, in, under wings. So we have this distinction in Revelation 12, 14 also, while the flood spewed out of the serpent's mouth is going here, there and everywhere, doing the immorality, doing the disease, doing the pandemics. God's people are kept on eagle wings, it says, into a safe place, into a safe place. So the distinction will increasingly increase. What does this mean to us? We need to daily practice the presence of Christ. Christ, dec I decrease, Christ increase. Uh, and hourly virtually keep our heart and spirit uh, clean and available to the Lord. It's a time that uh, there was a time always man denied the spirit and we would not worship the father of the spirit. But at least they did things in the soul, family, love the children. Now the soul is getting dismantled and man tries to live only with his body. God will not have this. He created all ecosystems and all resources that man might be family, raise up children, so the, the seed brings, brings the tree, tree brings the fruit, fruit brings the seed, so the generational transition is what God was looking for. Now families are disrupted, raising children is not in the agenda, anything goes for marriage and sexuality, God will not tolerate this. This is what he considers as chaff. But for his own, he'll have to provide and he will provide this enclave between his wings. So Malachi takes up the wing story, son of righteousness arising with healing in his wings. And we already see it in Revelation 12, 14, that the wings of an eagle taking his people to a safe place. This is not escapism. This is just the reality. The flood is spewing out, out of the mouth of the serpent into all the places that are well facilitated for him by legislatures, judiciaries, executives, science, fake media and all systems going. They think is for their Armageddon, but God is ready, getting ready for his Armageddon. Yes, when he will keep his own. You will tread down the wicked, uh, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day which I am preparing. Uh, so the final appeal is he will restore the hearts of the fathers to their children. So in the church, so in work, so in families and the hearts of the children to their fathers so that I will not come and smile. So we have to turn our hearts to him, father of light from whom all good gifts come, knowing that uh, separation has begun. Acts 17 said he makes the harvest and livelihoods uh, rain available to all. But now, the wicked are taking so much unto themselves. Now we have, uh, the, it's documented that during COVID time over just one year, the 10 richest people in the world have amassed 3.5 trillion for themselves. Many have lost their livelihoods, small shops, they have lost it all. Uh, God will not allow this. This is not, what, this is not the world he designed. 
This is a man designed world where man playing God has come to a climax. And God will say one more time, God is God. God bless you. Uh, so we have this uh, righteousness, healing. He will arise upon us with the Son of Righteousness will arise upon us with healing in his wings. So it will be wise to keep our hearts soft and pure all the time. Practice our Christianity in earnest. It's every hour Christianity. And lead our next generations as they are very young, five-year-olds, ten-year-olds. Teach them leadership. Teach them priority. We have to do this, dear, dear parent. We can't leave it to Sunday school or to church. The battle is at the door. Then we have to keep our door quite safe for our children. And we have to train them in righteousness, in everything. Every day a time dad with your children is very necessary. You, you, your career is not in the corporate. Your career is in the home. Corporate is your livelihood. So please, let's get ready for the time that God is gearing us for. God bless you. God keep you.